Eden Tentroy also has some history related to women and women doing some things that for the time were considered pretty bold or provocative even. Well, yes, yes. Um, and that, that's why, uh, you know, I, I talk about Edenton's founders and not founding fathers. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because, uh, um, as I mentioned before, uh, have an office, satellite office at the, the Barker House in Ed Edenton, which is home of Penelope Barker. And she, according to history, was the mastermind of what has become known as the Edenton Tea Party, which was... Um, uh, when a group of 47 to 51 women signed a, a, a petition, and in doing so, they told the British Parliament, the British Crown, that they would not support uh, um, the increased taxation met measures that were being put in place in the early 1700s. Signing a petition does not seem like a bold political act today. In fact, if you walk down streets of Raleigh, people will ask you to sign petitions for this cause and that cause when, you know, sometimes all you want to do is just go and get lunch and come back, <laughs> come, come back to work. But sign a political, signing a petition in 1774 was women stepping into the political sphere, normally an arena reserved for men. And, and women had done that in the past, but this was the first organized collective action of women that we know about in, anyway in the history of uh, the United States. So it was a bold move.